Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Pennyhaven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right, so here we are. I am back working on that uh, big penny appraisal job here and there's light at the end of the tunnel I've done so much of the sorting and uh, yeah I have every wheat scent has its for every year and every mint has its own bag and they've been sorted and gone through and I've started looking for uh, some of the more valuable errors I haven't found anything earth-shattering unfortunately but the next thing to do is I have this bag of unsorted 50s that I'm going through. As I was sorting the big wheat scent bag, I put the 40s and 50s to the side while I was doing that and focused on the uh, 1909s through the 1939s. And I did all that work. So I've left this for the end. So I'm going to sort through this bag tonight. Then I'm going to reassess. I'll probably show off a couple of things to you at that point and then let you know what comes next. All right. Oh, as you can see, I, uh, I had to move out of the office, out of my office for this part. I'm using the dining room table, so I brought more of my equipment down this time, so hopefully it's going to be some better quality shooting. I just want to say uh, thank you for, to my first uh, two Patreon supporters. Their, their names are going to be... Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and put their names in the middle of the video rather than at the end just because I'm so thankful to already have this support. I've had two days on Patreon and I have two Patreon supporters. Thank you so much. All right, here we go. Okay, so that's me done for the night. I got I got through all of the unsorted 1950s, so that is all of the wheat scents sorted. The only sorting I have left is this bag right here, which is a mixture of you know, modern shields, uh, some and some zinc memorials and some coppers. There are a few wheat scents interspersed throughout, but these are mostly modern. Oh, I see a pretty nice Canadian in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is split these. 
uh, zinc and copper I'm going to check the coppers for some varieties and errors and of course the zincs as well for for uh, got known varieties and errors so that's my last big sorting bit everything else is now in bags and I wanted to show you one of the cool things here from this collection I had the pleasure of finding in this big loose bag I found about almost 10 1909 VDBs that was just fantastic and wonderful these are not my coins but it's still such a rush to find those there were a couple that were already in flips and these are was it nine right here that are loose this one is the nicest I'll try to get a good shot of that Oof. still plenty of original luster on that reverse especially it's got a price tag of twelve dollars from who knows when well, it's a stamp from Whitman I don't know if that's just the holder or what but that one's in pretty nice shape uh, so that's pretty cool to see those 11 and then these 10 over here unfortunately um, someone along the way when they were sorting this or when they would find them uh, they cleaned the bottom of the reverse to make sure that the VDB is there you should really just do everything you can to not alter the coin at all and you know get in there with some good magnification and you'll be able to see it uh, but it looks almost like someone took an eraser and rubbed it there at the bottom it's a very small portion of the coin but it does definitely affect the price I spoke about it with a couple of uh, people from coin shops I go to and they said they probably wouldn't even buy them they would probably price them at four bucks a piece having been altered in this way so it's 40 bucks worth of pennies still but not what they could and should be worth so that's just a reminder don't don't clean your coins all right so all right so I'm gonna get on out of here I poof, I've been doing this for for a while tonight all right I'm gonna get on out Thank you so much for your support. I really, really appre appreciate it. Thank you to my uh, new Patreon supporters. I actually, during uh, my sorting these coins, and I, I got another Patreon supporter, so now I'm up to three. Thank you so much. That is going to be a huge help. I'm going to get on out of here. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.